What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, I'm going to be talking about Sage Surratt. I'm continuing to talk about uh, players entering the 2021 NFL Draft, at least most likely. Um, he has seemed to declare he's another player that opted out, and he said that he is now preparing for the draft, so I assume that means he's declaring. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about him. I just got done watching the film. I got my notes next to me. Uh, all that good stuff. So... One thing I noticed right away watching the film is that Wake Forest used him inside and outside. Um, so that's good. He's got a little bit of experience in both. Uh, he is 6'3", about 215 pounds. So he's a bigger receiver for sure. Um, now, I will say he doesn't necessarily have great speed. Now, granted... When you're 6'3 and 215 pounds, you're not necessarily expecting to be that fast unless he's just a prototypical athlete. Um, but he's not that type of guy. He's really not that fast. He doesn't really create separation that well. Uh, he's also not that great of a route runner, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, he doesn't really set up his routes. He doesn't really run with a plan. He just kind of runs his route regularly. Um, what he Where he really makes his money is his strength and his, well, him being a big receiver. Uh, he's good at making contested catches, you, you know, all those types of things, but he doesn't really create much separation. Um, he really does rely on that strength and size to win him the day. His hands are pretty consistent. I have seen him drop some balls that he probably should have caught, but, um, not too bad. It, it's, it's, it's pretty consistent for the most part. Um... And also, as far as him getting yak goes, I mean, it's it's pretty decent for him. He, like I said, he's not the most athletic. He's not going to make you miss. He's not that fast. But he, like I said, he does have some power to him. He can kind of run you over and get some yak that way. Um, now, one thing I'm not a fan of with him is that he is a very sometimes blocker. And I mentioned with Jamar Chase that he's not the greatest blocker in the world. But with Jamar Chase, he's such a good athlete and such a good route runner that I'm not as upset about that. But if you're not getting separation, uh, you're not that athletic, and you're just a big-bodied guy to make contested catches, then I kind of need you to be able to block. Um, that's, that's just my thing. Um, and he has shown the ability to block. He can get his hands on you. He actually puts his hands inside when he does decide to block. Uh, but sometimes he just doesn't do it. Uh, particularly if plays aren't designed to run his direction. I've literally see, seen him literally just stand still. And not even go to the player and put his hands on him. That's not something I'm a fan of. Now, there are definitely plays where he goes up, gets his hands inside, and the corner doesn't move. Uh, I just need to see him do that a little bit more consistently. Uh, maybe once he gets to the league, get a receiver coach or a head coach, you know, grab him by the face mask a little bit, maybe turn that around. But like I said, uh, you're not one of those amazing NFL receivers who can get away with not being able to block. Uh, with his skill level, I need him blocking. And to be fair, I think even the great receivers should be blocking. Um, but I I'm just a little bit less mad if you're an amazing talent. But don't get me wrong. I think this guy does have potential. You just got to know what you're getting with him. Um, if you're looking for a receiver to create separation, be that safety blanket on third down, you know he's going to get open um, with his route running or his speed or his agility, whatever. This isn't your guy. But if you want to go vertical, just throw him the ball and let him make contested catches or make him, or or let him make contested catches in the red zone. He's not bad at that. He's pretty, he, he's pretty good there. Just know what you're getting with him, and know what you're looking for in your receiver when you think about taking him. That's all. But overall, I do think he can add a piece. He can add something to your team. Just um, don't expect him to do things he's not meant to do. That's all. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much all I got on him. Uh, just like I said, big body receiver, not that fast, not that good of a route runner, good hands. Needs to work on his blocking a little bit. Um, but, oh, oh, also one thing I want to mention, it's Wake Forest. Jamie Newman is a pretty inconsistent qu quarterback. I made a video already talking about him. Um, that's actually already out as of recording this. 
like I said, he's kind of inconsistent. So inconsistent quarterback play is something that you do have to take into consideration when you're evaluating a quarterback. But my opinions on him that I stated before don't really change because of that. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate, ah, I would appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.